Hello, this is part one of a multi-part series on the upgrades that are available for the Esheen E010 and the Esheen E011. Uh, some of the upgrades that we'll discuss in this series will not apply to the E011 for the simple fact that this is their newer model and there aren't a lot of parts that are available for upgrades at this point. So this unit has larger motors, a slightly larger frame and a larger motherboard. So some of those, like I said, will not apply to the E011. Many people end up buying one of these two drones because they are a good candidate for upgrading uh, to an FPV style drone. So FPV meaning first person view uh, with the addition of a goggle headset kind of like this where you're actually viewing what the drone sees as you're flying around. And the reason that they go to this drone particularly is because it has very good performance for the price and at this point there are a lot of upgrades that are available for the unit. So in part one we'll be focusing on the first upgrade and the most important as far as if you want to use it for FPV style racing or flying around the house is adding the FPV camera system. Uh, so there are plenty of FPV camera systems that are all in one that are meant for something you know towards the micro drone size similar to these these drones here and the main consideration is the weight because for something this small every gram matters and the amount of electricity that the camera uses so these tiny little drones can only lift batteries of a certain size so you want to make sure if you want long flight times that everything that you're using on the drone is pulling a, the smallest amount of current possible to maximize your flight time so that you can fly longer and get more practice. So the first camera that we got for the Esheen E010 was the Esheen TX03 that's mounted here on what is the E011. So the, the main reason that we went with this camera is because it is a multi-output it's 25 milliwatt, 50 milliwatt, and 200 milliwatt. Um, and so what that gets you is a little bit of diversity. If you wanted to use the camera on a different drone or if you're going to be flying a little further distance, it's got a little more transmit power uh, to send the signal to your goggles so that you can get a little further away and still not lose reception and uh, essentially be blind, flying blind. The problem with that is all the added functionality uh, it comes at a cost. So the weight of that thing is like six, it's over six grams. I'm, I'm not sure, maybe 6.8. And the other cameras that are available on the market, similar to the VM275T, come in four or five grams. This one actually comes in below four grams, I believe at like 3.6. Uh, but if you take off the mount that comes with it, it's actually closer to like 3.3 grams. So you're saving a lot of weight by making the change from something a little heavier to something lighter like the VM275T. So that's a very big consideration. If we were gonna do it all over again, we'd probably go back and just get something like the, the 275T, which only outputs at 25 milliwatts, but for indoor flight and for these drones, you're gonna be looking at probably uh, flying at closer distance anyway, so I don't think the the extra output power is really worth it at that point. So when you go to buy a camera, be looking for something in like the three to five grams if you can. Uh, if you want to get something that's more universal, you always can, but just remember that you're probably going to have to add a bigger battery just to get reasonable flight times. So looking at the installation, here's the E010, and you can see here we've actually got... Uh, two pads there where we, we, we've soldered multiple times, but one is the, the positive battery for the positive battery lead and the other is for the negative battery lead. Uh, so here on the E011, you can see the camera system has a red and blue, red and black wire. The red wire is for the positive DC and the black is for the negative DC. And really all you need to do to add this little guy here is solder those two tabs on there and then you can see on the bottom side this is where the battery actually plugs in so it's it's a direct installation and it goes straight from the battery 
to the leads of the camera. All right, that's part one of our multi-part series of upgrades to the eSheen E010 and 011. Yeah, check back for our next episode, which will be going over upgraded batteries and what kind of effect that has on increasing your flight time and the power of these little drones. So we hope you'll join us for part two, and we'll see you next time.